Yeah, I had a biopsy done in February of 2007. Um, I had actually a biopsy in 2006, and that turned out to be negative. But in 2007, it came back positive. So the question was, what do I do about it? So I started doing my due diligence. Um, and my wife uh, worked at Cedar sinai and she recommended that I talk to some of the people who worked on a certain floor, 8 South. And from what I heard from them was, um, I had heard Dr. Michelle's name mentioned uh, quite favorably. So um, as part of my due diligence, I went to see him. I had also spoken to um, someone at UCLA, and I was about to have uh, an interview with uh, someone over at City of Hope. But I wanted to see Dr. Michelle, and when I talked to Dr. Michelle and I met with him, uh, the one thing that he talked about that I didn't hear from any other surgeons was really about me as a man. He basically said to me, look, your surgery is going to be fine. There are a lot of competent surgeons. It's about what we really stress is getting you back to being who you are. And sat down and talked to me about the issues that I was concerned about, incontinence, impotency, um, you know, dysfunction, rectal dysfunction. And he said, look, this is what we are concerned with and we work with you after surgery. It's not that we do your surgery and then come back a month later which one surgeon had told me, come back a month later. We want you in our office. Either you use it or you lose it. And it's a muscle like anything else. And he sat there and talked to me like a guy, like a man's man. And to me, that was the, he was the only surgeon that approached it really from a very personal level. And that attracted me very, very much to him. And um, I have not been disappointed at all. I was 57 years old. And in my mind, I'm still in high school, right? And I felt I had many, many years ahead of me. And obviously the first thing, the first and foremost thing you're concerned about is the virulence of the cancer. And that's out of your control. And fortunately my pathology was very good. I got a very good result for my pathology. But then it's a question of how you're going to live your life. And, you know, the days before, you know, you hear stories, that, you know, you can't ever get an erection again and things change and I didn't want that to happen to me and I didn't think it would happen to me if I was with the right surgeon. And that was very, very foremost in my mind. Being 57 year old, I had a lot of years ahead of me and I just was concerned, would I be able to have a normal quality of life for a male? Would I be able to enjoy sex again and things of that, that nature? And that was very much a priority. And uh, Dr. Michelle, from the very beginning, really t emphasized the quality of life afterwards if done properly. So that's why I came here and I have not been disappointed at all. And I've recommended several um, people that I know um, to Dr. Michelle. The procedure itself was remarkable. I was brought in, I had surgery late on a Monday. Wednesday night he comes into my hospital room and Dr. Michelle says you want to leave now. By the way I've got a great result for you. Your um, uh, we, the pathology came back and it couldn't be better. Do you want to leave now or you want to go home tomorrow morning? So I was just getting used to the catheter. I said, I'll go home tomorrow morning. He said, fine. So I went home Thursday morning and he said, take it easy. And I felt so well that I had a board meeting that night. And as I'm walking into the board meeting, the uh, chairman of the board was saying why well, I wouldn't be there because I was having prostate cancer surgery. And then I walk in. And they were sort of quiet. I said, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I felt well enough to come tonight. This is three days post-op. And Friday, I went to my daughter's play uh, that evening. And then the following week, I flew back to New York for my 40th high school reunion. And I haven't looked back. And uh, it's, if you pardon the pun, the whole experience was quite benign. Little pain, little if any pain. And I was just surprised how strong I was afterwards and how I was able to, within a couple of days, I started driving and I even went back to work the following week. I took it easy. You couldn't do any lifting for a few weeks. But three weeks later, I was playing golf. And I felt well enough to play golf a week later, but I had to take it easy. Um, and that was my experience. And I was surprised how pain-free it was, how easy it was, and how uh, quickly I recovered.